All right, so here is a video on how to organize data into an Excel spreadsheet when you're getting it off of the internet. If you're doing a survey, it's going to be very different, so make sure you watch the video on um, collecting your survey data um, if you use forms. If you didn't use forms, then you need to watch this video so you can take your survey data and put it into an Excel spreadsheet. All right, the other video is just for if you use Microsoft Forms. So if I'm going to create an Excel file, I'm going to go over to the Start menu and just type in Excel and have it pop up. All right, the Microsoft Excel comes up here. One of the most important things when you're doing anything is to make sure that you know where this thing is saved. All right, so I'm going to open a brand new blank, web, blank workbook. And then I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to go to Save As. Okay, I'm going to save it in my OneDrive. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this thing up here. So I want to make sure I know exactly where this thing is. All right, so there's my OneDrive. So my OneDrive is going to look very different than yours. All right, maybe you have, a, you probably have, hopefully have a class called IB Math AI or IB Math or something. And if you go in there, um, you're not going to have all these folders. These are all my folders from my curriculum. Um, but what I'm going to do is, I, let's say you don't have a folder. I'm going to right click in here someplace and hit New, and I'm going to go to Folder, and I'm going to type Exploration Project, and then I'm going to keep all of my project files in there. So I'm going to go into there. And then I'm going to call this data for project. Okay, so data for project. And it'll save it. So now the reason I want, now I know where it is. It should be in that data for project file in that folder. I can find it again. Okay, now we're going to end up with down here in the bottom corner of Excel, you can have different sheets. And that's basically like having different files kind of all in the same one location. So I don't have to open lots of different things. So my first sheet is just going to be my raw data. So double click on it or right click on it and make it say raw data. All right. So for this project that I've got here, I'm I usually I do my fake project on shoe number of pairs of shoes people own, um, but this isn't going to work. So I want to show you how to get data off of the internet. Okay. And if you have a survey that you're running data in, it's going to work just the same here. So this first row, all right. There's rows and columns. With these are called each thing is called a cell. So that's a cell. That's a cell. I'm going to put my my stuff in here. So I'm going to put a heading on the top. I'm going to put team name because uh, what I'm going to do is I just brought up um, some soccer stats on this Premier League uh, site here, Football Reference, which has lots of there's lots of sites like this for different sports. Um, and I'm just going to enter in a little bit of data. I'm not going to enter a ton because I'm not going to use this data to do my other parts of my like um, my fake project uh, that I do to run all my videos for. So anyways, I'm going to go in here. I'm going to take team, and then I'm just going to compare. Again, this wouldn't this would be a very good project, but I'm going to compare um, the average age of the um, the average age of the players, which is this column right here, average age of the players. Um, sorry, no, this is the, yeah, sorry, average age of the players right there that they've used in their games. All right, and then I'm going to compare that to how many goals and assists they have and see if there's a correlation between uh, the number of goals and the age, the number of um, the number of assists in age. So I'm going to make this smaller so I can see the data here. All right, so I'm going to have team name, and then I'm going to have average age, and then I'm going to have uh, goals and assists. All right now, a couple things you can do here. You can always go to the middle of these columns and you can drag them to make them bigger. All right, you can also, if you have this one, you can see average age doesn't fit. If you go to this middle thing and double click on it, it will make it the right size uh, based on the uh, information that's in there. So I always do that on all my tabs. You can change them as you go through. So all I would do is take my data and make sure it's in here. So I'm just going to take the first view. So Arsenal's average age is 26.5. They've scored 23 goals and have 16 assists. And then I'm just going to go down and each row is going to be a new um, entry from the internet or from my survey. Okay. I need to make sure that everything gets put into here correctly because once I get it in here, this is going to be what I'm going to use to do all of the rest of my project. So make sure you have things labeled. All right. Make sure that you use decent formatting um, and use capital letters and things like that. All right. So as to the average age is 25.6. They have 30 goals and 23 assists. I'm going to put four of them in here. Brighton's average age is 26.2. They have 21 goals and 12 assists. And Burnley average age 28.7. They have nine goals and four assists. Okay, so 
I put all my data in there, right? and I don't have to do it all at once. I, if I get 10 surveys, I can do 10 surveys. Um, you know, if I'm on the internet and I have a half hour, I do a half hour. Just make sure that you make any notes as to things you get in there. All right. Once we get all the data put into here, I'll talk about how to go through and eliminate stuff that we can't use. All right? If there's some data in there that's not useful. If you're getting it off the internet, the data should all be fine. But if you have surveys, there may be some surveys that you have to end up throwing out. Um, and we'll talk about that. I'll put a separate little video on that um, here for you to look at eventually. Um, but in the video about forms, I'll talk about that as I go through and look at what to do um, if you do your survey in forms. So if this isn't good enough, let me know and we'll talk a little bit more um, about it.